Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with our Jaspies 20 box World Series Baseball Mixer. And tonight, October 30th, 2024 on a Wednesday, the Dodgers are your 2024 World Series champs. The entire crew here, I guess except for Thomas, sorry Thomas, the entire crew here for the Dodger fans are very excited here. What a season, what a series, what a game. What a break we have here, folks. We've got a lot of great stuff in this mixer, and we've got a bunch of break credit being given away. Big thanks, to everybody, for getting this World Series mixer done on the World Series clinching day. So I appreciate everybody here for making it happen. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. Right, D. Munn ended up with Last Spot Mojo. Congrats to the people who won their way in those stadium club fillers. Thanks, everybody. All 30 teams are in, no, uh, no combos. Let's roll it, let's randomize names and teams. Six and a four, 10 times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time. Got Eric Clicks down to Frank. Six and a four, 10 times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Got the Padres down to the Reds. All right. And here's how it shakes out. Padres down to Reds after ten. Padres down to Reds. All right. Eric Clicks. You have the San Diego Padres, Alan Murdoch with the Mets, Demon with the Guardians, Last Spot Mojo, Eric Clicks with the Yankees, Terry with the Braves, Greg with the Rays, Lloyd with the uh, Royals, Greg with the Giants, Chad Wright, you got my Dodgers, World Champs, David M with the Pirates, Brad with the Brew Crew, Walter with the Cubs, Chad Wright with the O's, Nate with the Phillies, Leonard with the Tigers, David with the Red Sox and Rangers, Matt with the Cardinals, Brandon with the Mariners, David Millel with the Nationals. Rex, you got the Marlins. David with the Diamondbacks. Chad with the Angels. Brian with the White Sox. Frank with the Blue Jays. David with the Twins. Rex with the Rockies. Brian with the A's. Eric with the Astros. And Franklin with the Red Legs. Let's alphabetize by team here. And we're gonna pause the video for just a bit. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades, then we'll have the break. So stick around, we'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back everybody. No deals were done. And I just, I counted the boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. The live memorabilia will do last. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. No deals are done, so TWC trade window Closed. D Mun, last spot mojo, Guardians. What a long baseball season, folks. Sad that it's over, but glad that the Dodgers ended up winning in the end. I mean, started with pitchers and catchers reporting earlier this year. We're already in October. What? Eight, nine months later? Man. We've got some, got the uh, Dodgers. Uh, the Dodgers network on in the background post game. We got Kershaw with his shirt off. We got the pitcher's glass now shirtless for some reason as well. I think Doc's going to say something. All right, let's do 2021 Valiant. We've got Riley Green. Green, who is a Tiger. I think the checklist will have everybody in their 2021 teams, and Riley Green's been with the Tigers since the beginning. Tiger? Tigers, Leonard with the Tigers. Here's Orlando Martinez uh, to 75. This is why I wanted to get the leaf out of the way first. Well, 
Orlando Martinez. is in the Angels organization? Not sure, we'll, we'll send to the Angels organization. Oh yeah, he's been, I'm looking at fan graphs, he's been with the Angels his entire career, since age 20. And that's going to go to um, Chad Wright and the Halos. I want to try to get to the parade, when, do, any word on when the parade's going to be? Here's Luis Matos. I think it was with the Giants in 2021. Uh, he's still with the Giants. That's going to be for Greg. We got Andrew Painter, who I believe... 13 out of 35 is a Philly. I think he's one of their big prospects for the Phillies. Yeah, he was a 13 overall pick for the Phillies. That's a nice one there. Um, that's his draft year, too, 2021. Nathan. With the Phillies. I mean, local news is already showing people spilling out into the streets, but it looks like everyone's pretty calm. Fireworks going off. Nothing too crazy. And there's Yolbert Sanchez, one of one. And Yolbert Sanchez. And Yolbert Sanchez was with the uh, White Sox. Um, and that will be for Brian. And Brian, it's a one of one. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. All right, now let's work through some of the some of the base heavier stuff, like this uh, uh, Stadium Club Chrome, this 2022 Stadium Club Chrome. So the parade Friday morning, City City Hall to Flower Street? Or are you thinking Flower Street up to City Hall? Yeah, I think I'll have to go. If it's Friday, it's a day off for me. I can easily take some. I can easily take the metro from my part of town and. Swing right down there. I don't think Oliver went all the way out to New York to, to see this game, right? In the middle of a work week?
and the biggest save of his life in game five tonight. Walker Bleepin Bueller. Big game Bueller became a Dodger. Big game Bueller indeed. Here's a Julio Rodriguez Destiny rookie card. Rookie Julio for Brandon. And rookie Bobby Witt Jr., team of the future, going to Lloyd. I always love the photography in Stadium Club. Here's Seth Beer, 60 out of 199. Oh, sirens, people celebrating in South Bay of Los Angeles. Is that right? D Munn saying Walker said he didn't know he might have to pitch until the sixth inning. I can imagine. You start looking around the bullpen, you're like, oh, Doc's using all these guys. I mean, as much criticism as Dave Roberts gets, and he might be, there's Will the Thrill to 199 for the Giants, Greg. I mean, this this might be nice autograph, Jake Berger, Brian Kordick with the White Sox. This might be a great managing performance from Dave Roberts. If it went the, imagine, Dave, if it went the other way, Burned all those guys and, you know, no one left in the bullpen. They give up winning runs in the bottom of the ninth and, you know, game over. Dave Roberts would be, would be getting crushed. All right, let's get into some fire. But, I mean, their, their bullpen plan, I mean, think about this. We're talking about the Dodgers had to play bullpen games in the, in the DS, in the CS, in the World Series. Like, they had, I mean, they got some gutsy performance out of the starters, but, you know, considering what the Dodgers thought they were going to go into the postseason with, you know, Tyler Glass now, healthy Yamamoto, you know, Bobby Miller, Walker Bueller. I mean, geez. Is Aaron Boone done in New York? I don't know. Any of our New Yorkers still awake? And all of our New York guys must have gone to bed. Aaron Boone got them to the World Series. They haven't been to the World Series in a long time. You know... Like I said, our Dodgers have been to the World Series many a times. They, you know, what, in the last, they've been to five World Series, like in the last six, seven years or some, seven, eight years. They've only walked away with two. It's hard to win, it's hard to win the World Series. <laughs> well, in the, in the middle of the season, I think the Dodgers were expecting a different rotation in the World Series, Terry. The Bobby Miller was ineffective. Walker Bueller was coming back from injury. Tyler Glass now got hurt. All these people got hurt. Yoshinobu Yamamoto couldn't get stretched out to, you know, to pitch deep into games. To, to come up with, you know, I think Mark Pryor was the architect of these bullpen games, but to be able to do that and get buy-in from, from the bullpen, I mean, that's, that's an achievement in and of itself. That's what makes this particular team unique. All right, another box. 
What year is this? This is 2022. All right. To the Moon die cut, Pete Alonzo, Eloy Jimenez on fire die cut. You got Ryan Vallad, uh, rookie red, not numbered. And we've got a Cutter Crawford autograph, rookie auto for Boston. It's going to go to David Millel. Tyler Glass now in the post game, shirt off, soaked with booze, backwards cap. Someone's pouring Budweiser on him. I know Tyler Glass is probably disappointed. He didn't was even able to help the team on the mound, but he's a he grew up a Dodgers fan, so you know I th he grew up a Dodger fan, so I think and Jack Flaherty too. There he is. He grew up a, they grew up Dodgers fans, so I'm sure, I'm sure they're just happy to see that. Bobby Wood Jr. rookie card for Lloyd and the Royals. Michael Harris, maybe. I know Bobby Witt and Julio, right? Shane Bieber to 99. Joey Votto die cut. Bieber will go to uh, D. Munn and the Guardians. And Alec Thomas, rookie autograph for the Diamondbacks, David Millel. Julio Rodriguez rookie card for Brandon and the Mariners. Flame throws Otani. We'll start to see him pitching next year. Frank says, I realize I have the Reds and Blue Jays. You might get all the Vados. Yeah. All the Vados. And I'll do a hit recap. At the end, we'll stack those over here. Uh, let's get going with some 2020 Donruss Optic Baseball. Friends texting me, family texting me. The Dodgers win the World Series tonight. It was amazing. Freddie Freeman, World Series MVP. He hit 300 with 400 with four homers. World Series record tying 12 RBIs in the in a five game series.
What do you think that plane is flying in? I'm not too far from the airport. Today's Wednesday. They're probably not flying out till tomorrow morning. They're not. These guys aren't. These guys are going to party in New York, get on the plane tomorrow, and get in tomorrow night. John Means to 150 for the Orioles. That'll be for Chad Wright. Might be a parallel hot box. Zach Gallon to 150 for David. Might be. Donnie Walton to 199 for the Mariners. There's Buster Posey to 199. Jason Dominguez, rated prospect. That's for the Yankees. Buster Posey for the Giants. That'll be for Greg. Donnie Walton for Brandon. Zach Gallon for David. Miguel Cabrera stained glass. I don't know in optic how short printed these stained glasses are, but we'll take care of it anyway. Leonard with the Tigers and John Means with the uh, Orioles. Keston, uh, Keston Hira, 70 out of 125 for the Brewers. It's going to be for Brad. Uh, Yamaguchi to 75 for Toronto. That's going to be for Frank. Gavin Lux rated rookie for Chad Wright and the Dodgers. World Series champion. Freddie Freeman, Atlanta edition. Still World Series champion. Terry and the Braves. I guess the stained glass is a little more common. Jalen Davis. To 76, that's going to be for uh, the Giants. That'll be for Greg. And this Royce Lewis rated prospects um, hollow is going to go to David Millel. Local news is the helicopter over LA. It looks like Dodgers fans are being pretty uh, civil at the moment. Guys on sidewalks waving Dodger flags, people cruising down the streets, honking horns. Reese Hoskins, autograph, highlights autograph, opening day Grand Slam. Yeah, a really hot start to his career. That's going to be um, for Nathan and the Phillies. There's an Aaron Nola for you as well to 100. Ryan Abreu for Houston. That's to Eric Clicks. Matt Chapman. That's going to be to 199. That's for the A's. That's for Brian. Jonathan Villar to 125 for Miami. That's for Rex. Where is this in LA? Got rated rookie Dylan Cease to 150 for the White Sox. Brian Cordick. Shane Bieber to 100 for D. Munn and the Guardians. C.J. Abrams, rated prospect for the Padres. Eric Clicks. Kevin Biggio to 125 for Frank and the Blue Jays. Mike Soroka for the Braves. That's for Terry to 35. Austin Meadows to 76 for the Rays. That'll be for Greg. Jordan Alvarez, the rookies. For the Astros, that'll be for Eric Clicks. Ooh, here's another. Here's a world champion coming up. World champion. This is still... Minnesota edition, but that's the bazooka. Bruce Dar Gratterall, rated rookie autograph. That's going to go to David Mullell and the Twins. Current Dodger, World Series champion. A little bit of a rough outing, but it right, doesn't matter. The Dodgers win. Willie Castro to 100 for the Tigers. That's for Leonard. 
Eloy Jimenez to 100. Bobby Wood Jr., rated prospect. And TJ Zook to 150 for the Blue Jays. Yeah, it's, you're right. It's a, you know, like we talked about their lineup passing the baton. It's beautiful when you have an iconic organization that passes the baton, the next one being able to win it all. All right, we saw the celebration here in the streets of Los Angeles. Let's get back inside for the party inside the clubhouse. Max, let's see right now. Standing by with your sister. All right, some uh, Topps Chrome Baseball. It's a little warm in the studio. And Walker was hitting 96, 97 on the gun in that ninth inning. He was just unloading the tank. I always love it when the uh, Dodgers network reporters that have been with the team all season long, they're in the celebration, they're pouring booze on, on the reporters. It's always fun to see. All right, Topps Chrome Box. Here is a Ellie Dela Cruz. Nice. That's for Frank and the Reds. Refractor. We got World Series champion Mookie Betts, 23 out of 25. Chad Wright and the Dodgers. World champion Dodgers, Chad. World Series champion Freddie Freeman. Evan Carter, 1989 design. That's for the Rangers. That'll be for David M. Millel. Jackson Churio, Nate Ivaldi to 50. That's going to be another Ranger for David. Shota Imanaga, rookie card for the Cubs. That'll be for Walter. The uh, Summertime in the Park, Ellie Della Cruz insert for Frank and the Reds. And then base Jackson Churio for Brad and the Brew Crew. We've got Evan Carter, rookie Rush. It looked like it might, be, might have been numbered, but... And we got Osvaldo Beto for Brian and the A's. Alright, 
World champ Freddie Freeman. World Series MVP. There's Mookie. It's the broadcast team celebrating. All right, uh, let's work through let's work through a logo fractor box. This is twenty twenty three logo fractor. Now those are your logo fractor packs right there. Right, in Whittier? Yeah, Whittier Boulevard. No, Whittier Boulevard. Oh. And this lady's like talking to fans, and everybody there has like modelos in the street just drinking. Like, nice, I like, love no, it. No cops are like telling them to put that shit away, you know? Mm. <laughs> He's getting angry. We have the Dodgers! Those, those, those cops are Dodgers fans too. <laughs> He's all just drinking in the fucking public. That's so funny. I love it. There's Teoscar Hernandez, World Series champion. Okay, these are the logo fractures. Garrett Mitchell, Anthony Volpe, rookie. Nice, 50 out of 250. He had some nice moments in the World Series. He grew up a Yankee fan. Air clicks with the Yankees. Future stars Michael Harris for the Braves, that's for Terry. Michael Harris 2023. Got green Mike Trout, two out of 99 for the Halos, that'll be for Chad Wright. Let's uh, get some of this 2021 Bowman Chrome going here. Brandon Gomes says Walker Bueller told him on the bus to the stadium earlier today that if they if they need him, uh, that he's ready to go. Rex saying cops aren't doing anything because it's about drinking because they know they're trying to sound the riot. The good people of Los Angeles. Just, that's, that's just what Rex thinks of us. Rex thinks we're just animals out here. Here's uh, Viandel Pena for David and the Nationals. Rex, these are like families sitting out on the sidewalk just drinking. Come on. Kyle Lewis to four ninety 
Aston Kirkstad to 25. And Juan Zen for Brandon and the Mariners. Yeah, Walker does have that dog in him. I don't know what Walker's future is going to be with the Dodgers, but I hope they I hope they can get him back. Maybe on a short-term deal or something like that. You know, if he can get a full seat on, under his belt, he can get another crack at free agency and get some big money. So maybe, maybe he'll do that. I don't know. We'll see. Here is Pedro Martinez, 52 out of 99. No, not, not that Pedro Martinez, but Ray's prospect Pedro Martinez. Going to Greg in Tampa Bay. Justin Foscue, 51 out of 99. All right, how about some select? We're kind of picking up a little steam here because we've worked through all the base heavier stuff. I think this break is taking me a little bit longer than I thought, but that's okay. I don't think I don't see too many orders coming in. So unless Jason K and Matt filled up a break, we'll, we'll take our time, especially with the memorabilia. Maybe we'll do a little trivia, a little who am I, if you want to stick around for that. Oliver, what's going on? Did you miss anything historic tonight? Ah, just a team in the World Series coming back from a 5 nothing deficit. It's never happened before in the World Series, history of the World Series. Teams down by five runs or more to start the game. They don't come back. Except for this team, the Dodgers, to clinch the World Series. That's all. Charlie Blackman to 199 for the Rockies. That'll be for Rex. Man, I was like, what a, what what work by, by Blake Trinan. And then afterwards, I was like, wait a second, guys. I don't know. Here's Dominic Leva, relic for David. Then I was like, I, I don't know what, what we're going to do. And then Jason was like, I think I just saw... Walker Bueller wore me up, and I was like, Walker Bueller? What a finish. <laughs> Good work with the Trine in Jersey. <laughs> You know, I feel like with the talent the Dodgers have had in previous years, if we had this kind of this kind of grit this year, in previous years, we might have had another World Series or two under under our belts. But I mean, I think maybe going forward, people realize this is what it takes. Nice Corey Seager. This is Dodgers edition of Corey Seager. Chad Wright. Two out of ten. This guy's. I was a dog in the World Series. It's Kevin Bijou to one for it. Not a lot of people get, not a lot of people with the Trinan jersey. I think I did like that. And Brock Burke, thirty out of forty-nine. Rangers. That's going to be David. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know if if Blake Trinan is going to be a Hall of Famer or. Or whatever, you know, he's not going to be setting records or anything like that. But Blake Trinan, here's uh, Michael Chavis for uh, David in Boston. But, but um, I think uh, 
I think Blake Trinan will probably remember, be remembered in Los Angeles for a long time for this gutsy, gutsy game five performance, you know? All right, this is Topps Chrome Sapphire from 2022. Yeah, look it up. Blake Trinan, yeah, went two and a third. Gave up one hit, one walk, three strikeouts. And Walker Buehler comes in just throwing, just throwing heat. One inning, no hits, no runs, no walks, two strikeouts, game over. He got Volpe to ground out. I mean, he he threw a knuckle curve to Austin Wells for a strike. Another knuckle curve for a ball. A 96.2 mile per hour four seamer for a ball. And Austin Wells fouled off a couple knuckle curves. Walker Buehler then threw a 97.2 mile per hour four seamer for a ball. And then got him to strike out on a knuckle curve. And then Verdugo struck out on four pitches. There was a, took a ball, knuckle curve, then a 93 point mile, one mile per hour cutter. That cutter has been kind of a new pitch for Walker Buehler. Right? Throws the cutter for a swing and strike. Then he's got him, he's, he's got him fooled here. Then he's, he's got a knuckle curve for another swinging strike and another knuckle curve for a swinging strike. That does it. Yeah, I don't know about Walker Buehler. He's a he's a Scott Boris kind, which is the one thing that you know is going to be interesting. So unless Walker Buehler specifically says, "Hey, put me back on the Dodgers, whatever it takes," don't know. Maybe there'll be someone out there, you know, who's going to be willing to overpay for Walker Buehler and take a chance that he's 100% healthy. There's World Series champion Max Muncy, Luis Arias to 50. That's a triple player card right there. We'll do that randomizer at the end. Brewers, Dodgers, Dodgers. Uh, let's get work through the uh, pristine here. We can talk about that tomorrow, Oliver. Tonight, I mean, Oliver, tell me, tell me, uh, tell me your emotions throughout this game. Where were you? Were looks like you were watching at home, friends, family, maybe. But like you see, you see Jack Flaherty give up four earned runs in one in one third inning and Garrett Cole throwing one hit ball through four or five innings through four innings at home too nervous I mean what were you feeling in the early points of the game through four innings You were making your plans to go to game six. I was, I was cautiously, cautiously optimistic. I'm glad a lot of that damage happened early, you know, early in the game, but that's when it turned for me too, Oliver. I was just like, listen, if the Dodgers can, with after that Aaron Judge mistake, I was like, the Dodgers at least have to scratch one or two runs out of there, you know? 
And if we can scratch back a couple runs, then, you know, then I think we've got a chance. You know, if we don't capitalize that on that, then I think, you know, then I think the Dodgers are just, are, are done. I was like, this is the beginning. This is where the Dodgers have to like take advantage of the mistakes of the door that the Yankees opened up for us. But I was like, if the Dodgers don't walk away with runs on that, then, you know, then I, 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 don't, I don't know if I like the chances. But not only did they get runs, they got five. Exactly. And that's, that's how you got to, you know, that's how you, that's how you, you know, step on, uh, step on the neck of an opponent. Is to be able to jump on that, jump on those mistakes and make them pay for it. Here's world champion Yoshinobu Yamamoto. And then after that, you know, and there was the two insurance runs in the top of the eighth or nice, but then after that I was like, well, this is where Doc earns his paycheck, right? How do you how do you navigate that how do you navigate that bullpen and get it right? And they did. It's Paul Skeen's rookie card. World champ Walker Bueller. Oh snap, die cut Anthony Volpe. Jackson Holiday for Chad Wright and the Orioles. There's a Corey Seager to 150 and the crime dog, Fred McGriff for Tampa Bay. Pristine pieces, Jersey and Auto for Greg and the Rays. Yeah, I hope so too. I mean, um, yeah, I, I, trust me, I, I've questioned, I've questioned Doc many a time. A lot of numbered cards here, but I think, you know, I th I think he's got to got to get a lot of credit for managing the Dodgers the way he did this season. There's Luis Robert to 150 for Chicago. Zach Gallen for David and the Diamondbacks. We got world champion Tyler Glass now to 50. He grew up a Dodger fan too, so I'm sure he's happy from a from all sorts of levels. Altuve for Eric and the Astros and Corey Seager. That is for David and the Rangers. Here is Zach Neto autograph. That's going to go to Chad Wright and the Angels. Got Jordan Alvarez, 17 out of 50 for the Astros. It's going to go to Eric Clicks. Jonathan Classe, 46 out of 50 for Mariners. That's going to go to Brandon. We got a Spencer Strider autograph, 8 out of 99. Terry with the Braves. Jack Leiter for the Rangers. That's going to be for David Millel. And we've got JT Real Muto, 6 out of 75. For the Phillies, Nathan. All right, uh, let's go through some, uh, let's go through some Spectra Baseball, 2021 Spectra Baseball. Yeah, good for, good for the Asian American community. Uh, Oliver, I don't know if I told you, but um, <laughs> over the weekend, my mom's birthday over the weekend, 70th birthday, we were, we were, I think Friday night, we watched the game at home together, the family did, and then we went out to um, a nice uh, Mexican restaurant on Saturday for dinner. And um, and we, we were situated, our table is situated where we can see the game as well at the bar, this restaurant. And, uh, you know, Tommy Edmond was having a nice game. And I was like, oh, mom, by the way, did you know that Tommy Edmond's half Korean? 
you know, and I was like, oh, no way, that's cool, you know. A couple days later, after I after the weekend, my, I guess my mom was doing some research, and she was like, wait a second, Joe, I know Tommy Edmonds' grandma. And I was like, what the hell are you talking about? Tommy Edmonds' grandma's probably 10 years older than my mom or something like that. Still with us, I think. I think she's still alive. Um, and I was like, what? How, how the hell? Like, they went to church together in Southern, Ca Southern California, like in the 80s and 90s. How random is that? Yeah, it's really random. Clark Schmidt, Max Scherzer, and we got Pedro Severino, 50 out of 50, game day relic. Yeah, I, I, that was one of the, that's a text I was not expecting from, from my mom. <laughs> Small world, right, David? Yeah, I think there. My, my mom was like, "Yeah, after I'm after my fam, I was born in Ohio, but after our family moved from Ohio to Southern California, I think there. Was, I think it was like a church in Diamond Bar or something random like that the, that she started going to and had met her, and they were they were. I don't know if they're super close, but they were friendly enough that they kind of kept in touch. I don't know when the last time they talked, but here's a uh, Sam Huff. Puff and blow the house down. I think that's going to be uh, Rangers. Sam Huff. Still a Ranger. But yeah, small world. It was super random. Then I think they, I think my mom went to a different church or they moved or something like that, but they still ran into each other and they kept in touch over time. So I thought that was really random. All right, Hassan Kim and Byron Buxton to 30. Rising rookie, Dalton Jeffries. Dual relic for the A's. That'll be for Brian K. David, Oliver, are you guys going to the parade? I think I'm going to try to get there. Friday morning, I think. And Brent Rooker, two-color patch and auto. That's a nice-looking patch there. Twins, that'll be for David. I think for where I'm located in Santa Monica, I could probably just take the train and just zip right down, right to downtown. Dean Kramer, Vlad Guerrero Jr. Seven out of eight on that Dean Kramer. Spencer Howard. Oh, you, you got you might that you might have to pass on that tea time, Oliver. It's Fernando's birthday on Friday too. This is for the Phillies. That'll be for Nathan. And astrological signs. Kyle Lewis, ten out of ten, jersey and autograph. Nice. That'll be for Brandon and the Mariners. Carlos Correa to 45. And we got Buster Posey, Firework Fabric. Is Dave Roberts a Hall of Famer, Oliver? As a manager? 17 out of 25, Fireworks Fabric. Greg with the Giants and Tanner Hawk. For Boston, jersey and autograph. It's for David Millel. Some reporter was asking that question. And 
move on. All right, nice. Let's uh, work through some tops chrome black. Uh, now that this World Series is over, I'd also like to know um, how limited Otani actually was. I don't think they'd ever say that during the World Series, but now afterwards... I wonder if it'll come out that he was more injured or less injured or it wasn't a big deal or it actually was a big deal. Dalton Varsho, Casey Mize, Nelson Cruz, 75. Here is Sam Huff, live autograph this time, rookie auto for David. <laughs> Did you hear that? In the background, Otani said, let's do this nine more times, the rest of his contract. You think it was really hurt? You did what Shoei did. It took you two weeks to feel snow pain. Man, yeah, maybe, maybe he was. I mean, even with the treatment too, right? There's Shohei right there, world champion. Jacob deGrom to 199. It was his back shoulder. Like Bellinger did his front shoulder. I think that's where you see the most problems. Back shoulder, I'm still still hurts too. We got Chen Ming Wang for the Yankees, 68 out of 150. That's going to go to Eric Clicks. All right, three autos in here. Bowman Chrome 2020 edition. Carl Kaufman. Bowman first autograph for the Rockies. That's Rex. With a spot he got straight up. Here's Alex Spees for the Rangers. That's going to go to David in Texas. I mean, I wonder, man, if, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, you got to give credit to Dave Roberts. I mean, maybe he would have been tempted to maybe not pull Jack Flaherty that early, so... And we got some orange down here. Nice Logan O'Hoppy. Three out of 25. This is Philly's edition. Bowman first autograph. I wonder if he was part of that Brandon Marsh trade. That's going to be Nathan. I'm doing pretty well with the Angels. But it's still Philly's edition going to Nathan. All right, five-star baseball. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I was hearing on the radio how Mark Pryor kind of kind of pitched this bullpen plan. You know, they got Doc, him and 
Doc got buy-in from all everybody. I mean, that was pretty awesome. I mean, bullpen games, those are like, those are just, you just waste those games, but they somehow made it work a, a few more times than not. There's Estevan Floreal, Yankees. That's going to be for Eric Clicks. Ooh, and a nice patch auto. Ooh, nice. Three out of five. Three color patch auto, a chip off the old block. Chipper Jones, Terry, wake up. Terry has the Braves. It's kind of late for Terry, but... There you go, man. Three out of five, Chipper Jones, three color patch, on card autograph, five star. That's awesome, Terry. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Nice. All right, time for some live memorabilia. All right, what should we start with? Should we start with? I guess we'll just start. Let's start with. I kind of want to do these jerseys first. So let's go Leaf Memorabilia Hybrid, one sealed uh, Leaf Hobby Box, and then a signed custom jersey? Interesting. Yeah, we can play a little Who Am I? Here's the uh, Leaf Metal Draft Baseball box first. Is Miguel Rojas back next year? Clever, Frank. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, some of these things. All right, let's go. Hopefully we know some of these guys. Isaac Pacheco. All right, this is 2021, right? All right. Got to look these guys up here. Sorry. Isaac Pacheco. I know, sounds like Isaiah Pacheco. No, but he is a tiger, Detroit Tiger. So that's going to go to Leonard. I didn't realize we were going to have an extra box in this World Series mixer here. State Pride J. Allen.
So let me look this guy up. He's with the Reds. That'll be for Frank. Tigers is Leonard. Here is John Rhodes. Uh, this is the, it's going on right now, Matt. I think I put it on the schedule, right? Yeah, it's going on right now. We're almost at the end of it. Just doing the live memorabilia now. All right, John Rhodes. Uh, it's been with the Orioles since still with the Orioles. And that's out of five, so Chad Wright. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. Jose Buto. Mets? Mets, that's gonna be for Alan Murdoch. He's been getting some playing time with the Mets, right? It's uh, eight out of 10. Jesse Franklin. Don't know Jesse Franklin. He must be this Jesse Franklin. He's with the Braves. That'll be for Terry. Oh, sorry, D Mun. Mickey is back, says Oliver and D Mun. It's a five million dollar club option and a one million dollar buyout. I know where this guy goes. That's Jordan Lawler. That's for David and the Diamondbacks. Two out of 20. I think Edmund definitely has one more season. I love Kike. Does this one not count? Oh, there you go. NLCS MVP, Tommy Edmond, World Series MVP, Freddie Freeman next to each other. All right, who am I? A little bit of trivia here. Um, I am... I have lifetime 303 batting average, 4,256 hits, 160 home runs, 1,300 runs batted in. Played for three teams my entire career, was a manager for one team my entire for, in my career, 17-time All-Star, three-time World Series champion, NL MVP, World Series MVP, NL Rookie of the Year, Gold Glove a couple times, Silver Slugger one year, Roberto Clemente Award in 76. Three-time NL batting champion. Who am I? This should be pretty easy. Four, two, five, six should be a number ingrained in your head. Oliver's got it. Pete Rose. R.I.P. Just passed away uh, back in September. Nice. That's for Frank and the Red Legs. Two games and keep it going like we did. It's 
just a special group of guys. It is kind of, Freddie just mentioned that, it is kind of crazy to think that the Dodgers were actually two, were down 1-2 to the Padres. I mean... They could have been, oh, I guess I just keep it in this box. They could have been bounced Ultimately, early again. All right, we got a hit parade jersey. These are officially licensed. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> All right, who am I? 32-year-old pitcher. One of those bats left throws right like Otani. My uh, win-loss record lifetime is 59-47. and 47. 371 ERA, 928 strikeouts. Played for a number of teams my entire career. One-time All-Star. Uh, this guy, when he started his career, I mean, he was pretty amazing. His home debut, six innings, a 5-1 victory against the Brewers. Struck out six batters in seven and one-third innings when one another one of his early starts. Went for three for three and at bats. First major league home run. Back when back when pitchers still hit. But just didn't quite just a lot of arm trouble. Was an all-star in 2016. A lot of arm trouble just limited him. Yeah, Dima, nice. Syndergaard. And guess what? Dodgers edition of Syndergaard. You can see the MLB tag right there. I'll even... These licensed jerseys are worth showing, showing off. Uh, I'll fold this up nicely, uh, Dodgers. Chad Wright, I think. Let's do one more jersey, and then we got mini helmets. <laughs> yeah, it should always be Mets Syndergaard, but yeah, Syndergaard was on the Dodgers for like half a second. He signed a one-year deal for the 2023 season. 12 starts, 1-4 record, 7-1-6 ERA. Had recurring blisters, was placed on the IR. Then he got traded to the Guardians that season. Did slightly better with the Guardians, but that, that was that. I don't think he was picked up at all in 2024. Oh. Wow. Oh. Uh, this is a fun one for, uh, for, for nostalgia purposes. Uh, old left fielder. He's currently 62 years old. Bat right, through right. Played for a number of teams in his career. Had a lifetime 284 batting average, 234 home runs, 7... 160 runs batted in. 
was a couple time All Star, won a World Series in '86, was an NL MVP in '89. Think back to your World Series MVP in '89. It was a Silver Slugger that year, led the NL in home runs, and was the NL RBI leader as well. And on this team's Wall of Fame, that's that's the team he's on right here. That was the team he probably played for the longest. He had he had two seasons with the Mets, a season with the Padres, traded to the Giants, played with the Giants 87 to 91, Mariners 92, Reds 93, 94, Japan in 95, Red Sox 96, Red Sox and Reds in 96, Indians in 97, A's in 98. But for like a, a short moment in San Francisco. Um, some of you remember, may remember him uh, for his uh, barehanded catch in left field. Sprinting toward the left field foul line in St. Louis's Bush Stadium for a ball off the bat of Ozzie Smith, Mitchell realized he had overrun the ball but was able to reach back and snare the ball with his bare hand. Yep, Kevin Mitchell, you got it, Oliver. Not like, I guess, the biggest name, but I feel like definitely we'll hit the nostalgia button for, for some of you. Giants, that's going to be for Greg. Got sort of the, the cream colored Giants jerseys. Got the Nike swoosh, the tag, all that stuff. Greg, I'll fold this up nicely after afterwards. So the Dodgers Giants, a little, little rivalry mojo there in the jerseys. And our final two breaks, boxes of the break, are going to be these mini helmets. Is that what he did? He swung a bat in the pool to get stronger? Uh, those old school, uh, love those old school exercises. Sometimes Hit Parade will put the name of the player at the bottom of the box. They did not with this one. All right, we got another retired player here. Currently 50 years old, a little bit younger than uh, than Kevin Mitchell, Japanese player, one of those bat left, throw right kind of guys. Lifetime uh, Major League Baseball stat, 282, 175 home runs, 760 runs batted in. Played for one, two, three, four teams my entire career, a nine-time All-Star. Uh, no, check that, in, in, in the MLB, two-time All-Star, a World Series champion, and a World Series MVP. And in the Japanese Baseball Hall of Fame. I think this is not family friendly, but I think this player had a legendary porn collection. So, adults, look that up. Yep, Frank's got it. Hideki Matsui. And it's Yankee. Look at these cute little mini helmets. Yankees edition. I think it's pre internet. So. All right, Yankees. That's going to be Eric Clicks. 
Do people know this trivia? Is this commonly known trivia, or is this is this new to you guys? I, I, I don't remember the story completely, but I want to say that he had passed it down to another player after he got married or something like that. All right. Final mini helmet, and then we're going to give away a bunch of break credit. I had no idea. Good to know. There's a there, there there's a old Deadspin article about it that I'll drop in the chat. Apparently, this 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 information went largely unre unremarked upon for years until much vaunted became more concrete in 2012 when GQ cited Matsui's porn collection as 55,000 videos strong. Something like that. So I think that links to the GQ article as well. Anyway, a little trivia for you guys. See, you always learn a little something at Jaspies. Is that Gavin Lux furiously puffing on a cigar? You're a baseball player, you make a lot of money, you got a lot of time in the off season. <laughs> We've got an active baseball player, a left fielder, bats right, throws right, two teams his entire career, one time all star in 2023, just last year. Lifetime 279, batting average 110 home runs and 411 runs batted in. A Cuban national. Who am I? Signed a three-year, $42 million contract with this team in December of 2023. So started that first year of that contract this year. Pretty solid player. What did he... He had a 2.0 2 war, wins above replacement last year. He had 279, 18 homers, 143 hits on the season, 75 RBIs, some stolen bases, a 7.57 OPS. Current player, left fielder mainly, shortstop some second base. I know Terry, stepped away, how awesome was that? We're going to do a recap, you'll see that again in just a second. Oh, no, no, no one's going to get this, huh? Diamondbacks player. Any guesses on that? That's going to be for David. So who's the Diamondbacks left fielder and sometimes second baseman and shortstop? We know George. Like someone's got to get it. Yeah, there you go. Lourdes Gurriel. All right, so that's for David. All right. Let's do some randomizing. Someone's going to win some break credit. Let's flip back to this list right here. I feel like I can close these other resource hogging tabs. Give me a second here. All right, so there's everybody on the list right here. Everyone gets a chance, right? There's no minimum entries or anything like that? Yeah. Take all the names, randomize them. Top name wins $1,000 of break credit to jazpyscasebreaks.com. 
I think the next two will win $250 of break credit. That that results in two uh, $1,500 total. But that's the grand prize right there, the top name. So let's gather all the names. New dice, new list, top three, the po podium, right? Just like an F1, podium gets money. After four and a six, 10 times. Oh, but first let's do that, uh, that triple player card with Corbin Burns, uh, Dodger Scherzer and Walker Bueller. Out of that sapphire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Dodgers will get this card. That's Chad Wright. Let's flip back over here. Four and a six, ten times for the names. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and fingers crossed, tenth and final time. Top three will get money. Four will not. Ah, David, very close. Just not quite, but four through 30. Appreciate everybody trying. Third and second place, $250 of break credit each. That's going to be David and Matt. Top name, grand prize. $1,000 of break credit to jazbeescasebreaks.com. It's going to be Brad Polly. Brad what team do you have? I don't know if... I don't think... You have the Brewers. I don't know if I called your number very often during the break. So there you go, man. $1,000 of break credit going your way. That's it, right? Recap. Let's do a recap. So in addition to the memorabilia, I won't recap those, but here's the uh, auto and relic recap. Here's a bunch of these players here. I think the standout was the Jordan Lawler for the Diamondbacks. There's that Chipper Jones, Terry. Nice, three out of five. Logan O'Hoppy. You know, we got uh, some Tanner Hawk. Some of the Spectra stuff. The Kyle Lewis was to 10. Brent Rooker. More Sam Huff. Nice Spencer Strider. McGriff, Skeens, Corey Seeger autograph to 10. Volpe to 250. Dela Cruz, Bobby Witt Jr., Bruce Dar Gratterall, World Series champions popping. And then some Leaf stuff. Riley Green in the mix. That was pretty cool. And Andrew Painter. There you go, gang. That's the break. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with me. Um, Dodgers World Series champs. What, 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 a, what a relief. I'm, I'm extremely happy, obviously. So it's going to be it's going to be a fun, a fun off season. Hey, stick with us throughout the off season for baseball talk, baseball breaks, hot stove talk, and uh, join us for all the football breaks. Football season. We're shifting into that part of the season now. So. Thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate everyone. I'll see you next time for the next one. Go Dodgers!